hello hey, welcome to this video hey, my name is mr pauline now today we are going to be looking at how to calculate the total swapping distance reaction distance and breaking distance now hey, this video is quite unusual from the rest of our videos in the sense that we are not looking at a question paper we are looking at how to calculate this direction distance you can get a question in an exam that is asked direction distance at 40 kilometers per hour and i should be able to answer such a, such a question now this video is equipped with all the tools that you need so that you can actually remember and master this now someone asked me how can i calculate the total stopping distance the reaction distance and breaking distance so i made this video just in the aim of hoping that somebody so uh, anyway anyways thank you so much for that uh, comment now i want you to understand the uh, something there are formulas for calculating the breaking distance and the reaction distance and also what you also need to understand that the stopping distance is called to the reaction distance and the breaking distance now there is a formula that you can use for calculating the reaction distance as you can see here and there's also a formula for calculating the breaking distance but what you might find out that these formulas they don't really help you in an exam so what you just need to do is to memorize just for the sake of learning i'm just going to help you to calculate this reaction distance but you will find out that in an exam you don't really need the formula all you need is to know the diagram now let me open up something now this is a document that i made uh, so that you actually help, uh, help you to understand so this is the diagram that you need to focus on this one right now you can take a screenshot of this so that you can remember it let it stick to your mind i want you to look at it and look at it some more and keep on looking at it look at it and look at it and let it be painted in your mind so that if they ask you what is the reaction distance at 40 kilometers per hour you are simply able to say 5.6 meters so i want you to look at this diagram look at it very closely and meditate upon this diagram so that you can be able to answer this question now there are two options for you you can memorize these formulas of which i believe that these formulas they have no use for you in an exam situation because you're not going to be asked uh, the formulas let's look at this formula for reaction distance goes to v t r our v is goes to velocity or speed of the what of the vehicle and i given that in an exam yes you can be given then we have rt well, rt is goes to reaction time this definitely you are not given in exam so you are not able to calculate and also you don't have enough time to calculate this so what you need to do and i want you to understand me and don't get me wrong on this one what you need to do is to go to this image here go to this graph here go to this table here look at it and i want you to look at it really really look at it so that you can be able to understand this now before we do that let's just go through the definition so that we can understand the reaction distance the breaking distance and the art the stopping distance so these are our definitions here reaction distance it is the distance traveled from the point of detecting a hazard until breaking occurs so what does that mean let me go to my diagram okay so we see it is the distance from the point of detecting a hazard so this car is moving right as you can see by this dusty here so this car is moving but from the point the driver here detects this elephant this elephant is our hazard from that point the driver detects the hazard and the, the driver now has to react to the hazard but how does the driver react he reacts by putting on the brakes now there is a time a specific amount of time that is required for the driver to react to the elephant by putting on the brake so this amount of time here is what is called the reaction distance now the driver sees the elephant when the car is over here and the driver will put on the brake they will start braking at this point here now this distance that the car is traveled is known as the braking distance what is basically up in this region is that the driver is now being aware of the obstacle ahead i want you to understand that the car is still moving when the driver is aware of the obstacle ahead now the information now has to be registered in the brain but the car is still moving the driver becomes aware here when that information is registered the car will still be moving and when the driver now recognizes that he needs to press on the brake at this point this is when the driver will press on the gas at this point so basically the car is moved from this point to this point so this is basically the distance that it takes for the driver 
to put on the brake after being made aware of an obstacle in front of him okay so i hope i've made that clear anyways let me go to the braking distance the braking distance is the distance that the car travels from the point when the braking begins until the car comes to a stop basically the, what this is saying is that it is from this point here you press on your brakes you put on your brakes you press the brakes right? the, the drive uh, press on the brakes until the car comes to a stop so from this point until this point this is now the braking distance now the stopping distance is just a summation of, of the reaction distance and the braking distance so that is why here i said stopping distance just the reaction distance plus braking distance as you can see even from this table you can see that 5.6 plus 12.4 is close to 18 meters anyways um so i want you to be able to understand this side so for this table i want you to recognize that there, there is no any other way for you to actually be able to come up with these values from using these formulas yes it's very possible but it will take a lot of time of which you don't have that amount of time in an exam i want you to recognize this the breaking distance you want to calculate the breaking distance the breaking distance is equals to velocity squared over 2 u g what is our g our g is graphite which is 9.81 meters per square second then our u is our friction coefficient so understand that it's just too much way for you to calculate this breaking distance so uh, these formulas I, I just put them there to actually show you that you can actually calculate this but in this type of exam you don't need to calculate this and actually these things they actually have formulas so all you just need to know is to know the reaction distance for 60 kilometers per hour which is 8.3 so, so if you look at this table clearly you can see that as you go down the speed is increasing also our values are also what increasing also the total stepping distance they have no comma is 18 36 and what one third so with that being said you need to understand that our total stepping distance we have 18 36 and 1 third right so the direction distance is less than the breaking distance as you can see from this diagram here direction distance is always less than the breaking distance that's also something that you also need to understand direction distance is less than the breaking distance right then so as you can see it's actually easy for you to remember this so it's very very easy so i want you to know that it is possible for you to actually memorize this diagram and actually get into exam and pass your exams you just need to sit down even the day before just make sure uh, just you do it just the day before you sit down you find a way to, to that will help you to analyze this diagram so that you can actually put these values in your brain so anyways that's what we have i hope i've answered that question the person was asking how can i calculate the reaction distance and the breaking distance stopping distance well stopping distance is close to reaction distance plus the breaking distance i hope i've answered that and i've given you the formula and i also told you that it is better if you stick to this diagram stick to this diagram and also understand these definitions this definition will help you to understand that what is really breaking distance what is reaction distance anyways thank you so much guys for watching i hope this one was helpful so i also leave a link in the description below you can just go ahead and download this document here i think it will be helpful for you if you also want this image is also available i also leave a link to it so that you can also help you understand anyways i'm here to help if there's anything that you would like me to clarify on this video please let me know and also if there's an area that you like me to touch that you haven't yet understood please let me know so that i can also help you in any way so anyways best of luck in your exam yeah, thank you so much for watching this video goodbye